Hey, what's up, everybody? Here to bring you a video. Today, we're going to talk about some head sculpts that I got from my boy, old boy, CTTS. Uh, shout out to the crew. I appreciate you guys, as always. I hope all is well. I haven't spoken to you in a bit. But uh, yeah, this is a Batman sculpt that I got from them. It's a custom sculpt. Uh, again, if you don't check their website, you often should follow them on both Facebook and follow them on Instagram. They make posts whenever stuff goes up. I'm just showcasing stuff after it releases, not beforehand. Uh, it takes a while with the pandemic happening. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is a very nice Batman sculpt. Like, it's super dope. I honestly don't know what this sculpt is based off of. By the looks of it, it definitely looks uh, very Capullo art. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But, um, or Sean Murphy art, actually. So, this is maybe a combination of those two or their own various old boy style. But I just really enjoy the way this sculpt looks on the Batman Sovereign Knight. I chose the base body because that's what most people will have. And I just figured you guys would enjoy the look of this. Uh, there's no articulation taken away. You can still go left and right and move around. It actually sits a little high on the neck, but you can actually just shift it down, or shift it up. However you want to do it, it should leave enough room for you to truly enjoy. Um, this is just one of the sculpts I got because I truly do love short ears Batman. I'm, I'm here for that. And I really like this cowl design. So next up, though, I want to talk about a sculpt I got actually a very long time ago. Here's another Batman sculpt from them. This is more reminiscent of a uh, older, like, I guess we're going to base it off of Keaton's facial sculpture, which is more buff. Looks really good. Um, I normally put this on the Supreme Knight body because I think this actually looks really good on Supreme Knight. There we go. I really like the way it looks on Supreme. Again, no real articulation is lost here. You can still move around. I actually took a few pictures a while back, but I'll probably be doing some new ones now that I can finally get around to doing this video. So there's another one. <laughs> another one, not another one. Um, For the previous, the first sculpt that we did, we also have a nice metallic blue design. And this is going to come close and match that of the px design in case you want to see it it may be a little bit lighter but you can make those colors match with some uh you know some color blending i am not good at painting at all so i just try to blend my light around it to make it work but yeah this sculpt also looks really decent on the supreme just in case you didn't know uh, oh next up i want to talk about the batman beyond sculpt now this one is dope because it it brings a nice look to batman beyond like a nice helmeted but updated tech look. Let's actually raise it up just a tad bit. Whoop. There we go. And yeah, this is really cool design. Now, just because I don't really know how to compare it to the normal Mezco one. I'm mean, sorry. That's not the wrong, the right choice of words. I don't know how to talk about it when compared to the Mezco one. But here we are. That grim face makes it look he's older, uh, more wiser. Still Terry McGinnis though. And even when you look to the side of each, that has like the chin strap and the armor look. In case you can't see it, let's try to get some good light on there. Let's try to get some light. There we go. We have our nice chin strap. Some designs going on the sides. I really like what Old Boy did with this. And it looks and functions really well. Last but not least, I want to showcase a custom Hellboy design. I don't can't find my second scope right now, but <laughs> uh, I'm in the middle of a lot going on right now. But I'm gonna pop on this cigar scope. It's based off of what looks like to be the Perlman design. It looks really, really good. I do like the cigar touch. They even got the eyes painted in their blue in there. I don't know how they managed to do it that good, but they did. So I'm really enjoying. Um You know what? It's crazy because I really just want to try to really start showcasing my friend's work most of the time and a big reason why i'm doing this is because no matter how many times i tag people on instagram they still ask where's the sculpt from uh nine times out of ten people will be tagged in the sculpt i'll thank them so if you're missing out on following me on instagram even if you don't follow me if you check out a post on instagram if you tap the photo nine times out of ten i promise you you are going to see the person who i who did a diorama from me worked on a piece for me whatever it is you're gonna see their work there and they will be thanked if you don't see them tagged it's because either they've requested it or i forgot 
you know, I, I can forget. You know, I'm human. But um, yeah, most of the time you'll find them there. So here is whole uh, here is old boys sculpts. Just some of them. I haven't gotten around to really doing all of them. But these are the ones I have on on display right now. So I figured I'd do a video. And I'm glad you guys watched. I appreciate you sticking around to watch. I hope that you guys truly do enjoy the uh, enjoy the photos at the end. And as always, please be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Uh -huh.